So, Richard, what's the situation there this lunchtime? Well, about now, Colette, the queues aren't uh, particularly lengthy around Dublin Airport, as is to be expected. The main rush this morning was uh, before uh, 4 and 5 a.m. as people seeing the scenes over the course of the weekend made sure they got here especially early uh, to try and make sure that they wouldn't miss their flight, like the 1,000 or so people who did miss their flight uh, yesterday. Now, uh, there were some lengthy queues inside Terminal 1 uh, as people made their way towards check-in uh, and bag drop, but uh, as of now, situation rather calm uh, in Dublin Airport. But behind the scenes, some real frustration and real anger at a government level about uh, how DAA has managed this. This situation flagged back in March. DAA said it had everything all under control, but that very much not the case over the course of the weekend. You heard in Nicole Gurnan's report there uh, that the... Uh, the government has requested a, a report from DAA on how they're going to prevent similar scenes happening over the course of the June bank holiday weekend. While DAA holding their hands up about the situation over the previous weekend, they simply say they mismanaged it. Yeah, I think we have to hold our hands up. We did get it badly wrong over the weekend. What we're doing today is looking very closely at what happened. We want to make sure it doesn't happen again. We have a very busy week ahead, very busy bank holiday weekend coming up. We want to get it right. We owe it to our passengers, so hopefully we can rectify that in the days ahead. You're looking at a sizable number. Probably in excess of 1,000 is what we estimate at the moment, but in the days and weeks ahead, we'll determine that. We will work with passengers. DAA will work with passengers to make sure that as far as we can, nobody will be out of pocket for the problems that we caused over the weekend. Well, Ryanair moved around 530,000 passengers around the continent yesterday. They say that of all of the airports in Europe, and there was some disruption in some other airports, Dublin was significantly and by far uh, the worst of it. Ryanair's CEO, Eddie Wilson, uh, today calling for the army to be sent in uh, to rectify the situation in Dublin Airport. You need people quickly. You need to have security clearance, and obviously all the army are security cleared. They could be managing queues, they could be releasing other staff, the people who do the more special, specialised jobs on the x-ray machines, they could be doing the secondary searches and that as well. And that would be very visible. But we need to do something quickly, and what people not unreasonably are doing are turning up five and six hours beforehand. That's only making it worse. Well, real pressure now on DAA to make sure that they do have measures in place to make sure that the June bank holiday weekend, one of the busiest times for travel across the calendar year, goes smoothly. Uh, that uh, report, which is being demanded by the government for tomorrow, uh, really that will be key to how uh, the government sees whether there is confidence in DAA to actually be able to handle the situation and to move on from it.